Hi there, my name is Ben Jackson, and today I wanted to share with you something that's kind of some of my personal history which might be useful for you. It's about self awareness and motivation. This is how legends are made. And it really came to me just after some conversations recently that you know we can really get focused on the thing we want to do this ideal this kind of aspiration but sometimes lack the motivation we can sit on our hands not actually do anything and i just thought i'd share with you how i got past that problem personally um i don't know back in 2009 i decided to want to do more fitness so i looked at a range of options uh, gym wasn't really viable because that was not very close so I wanted to find something that's more convenient. So I was whittling down a list and I, for a moment, thought about cycling. Um, I like cycling, it's a great sport. And so I thought, okay, what's the process? What do I need to do? And I knew that myself, that I would want to kind of get the right kit, have a reasonable bike. And then I began to explore when I would do this. And as I began to explore the timings and what I have to go through, I came to an, an awareness of realizations about myself. And what it was is that, as I went through it, I realized I'd have to do a cycle ride in the morning uh, around six, and then the, the process. Now the process was the thing that kind of really stopped me considering cycling. I don't know about you, but you know, that warm blanket in the morning can be very tempting to stay underneath. And the idea of having to get up, get dressed in some reasonable cycling kit, going to get the bicycle, checking the bicycle, and then riding were far too many stages of procrastination and delay that I actually wanted to go through. I realized as I went through the process that that was not gonna work for me because I needed something that, happened, that could happen quite quickly that I couldn't allow any delay to happen, any procrastination to kick in. You know those thoughts you get where you can convince yourself out of something, I didn't want that. There was too many opportunities. I know I could wake up thinking, oh, it's wet outside, I don't wanna get changed or get out the, the, the warm bed, or oh, I've gotta check the bike and that'll take time. Loads of things that I put in my way. My self-awareness led me to realize that that was not gonna be an opportunity. And what then I did think about was running. Well, for me, and my strategy of how I go about things, I knew that I could put the running shoes next to the bed, running clothes, what I was gonna have very close by. All it would take for me is to kind of like fall out of bed into the shoes and then out the door. It was a very simple process that, to be fair, I could be out of the house within say five, maybe 10 minutes at the most, if you include lacing up properly. So for me, it was awareness that that would not be enough opportunity for me to kind of procrastinate, delay, get too cozy in bed, or in any way kind of get the brain warmed up to stop me doing what I wanted to do. And it was this self-awareness that I wanted to kind of like share with you. The purpose of what I wanted to do was to increase my kind of fitness. And I didn't particularly mind which way that was gonna be. I just chose one that I knew I could commit to easiest. And sometimes when we set up goals, it can be that we find that we choose a strategy which actually doesn't suit us. We may say, yeah, I'll do a six o'clock morning run or a cycle or whatever it may be every day. But maybe in reality, you can't do that. Maybe in fact, you do like to lay in or you in prefer to sleep. And in fact, maybe you run in the evening or at nighttime, that could be better for you. It could be that your diary really doesn't allow you to do seven days exercise. Maybe you even shouldn't do seven days exercise, but in terms of what you actually set yourself out, maybe the goal's a bit too high. Realize what you can do. Maybe weekends are a complete washout and you can't do exercise, except that. But when you're looking at self-awareness, it's looking to understand what works best for you to achieve your goal. What do you know about yourself? So rather than just having a plan, a template from some sort of book or whatever to apply to your life, it doesn't, doesn't fit. Work out what the difference is, work out why it's not, work out what's not working for you and what you need to change. I have one story from a guy that, you know, he was for years wanting to go to the gym and get fit and he knew it was important to him. And all that's kind of like knowledge never translated to knowing. He didn't actually then follow through until he found a strategy of finding a personal trainer that he felt he was committing to. And to let that person down was too much for him to not do the exercise. He found his way, his strategy to kind of get to where he wanted to be. So it takes some time with whatever you're aspiring to, to get that motivation, find the way that works best for you, not a template from 
some sort of video or from a book. Realize who you are. Realize your limitations, if there's a particular time limitation or particular exercise that doesn't work for you. Focus on your strategy, who you are as a person. The self-awareness will guide you to the best approach, as it did me from telling me with uh, cycling all the way to running. And the end of the story for the running was that I, I was running, you know, horrendous uh, pace, but I got better. And I was doing marathons, and then I was doing races, and so on. So I found a way that convinced me to do it, to motivate me through it. And that's what I ask of you. Find your convincers. Find the ways to get you to aspire and achieve what's really important to you. And with that in place, I feel that you're going to have a better way of doing it. So please try this out with something that's bothering you, particularly now with February. Maybe your New Year's resolutions are fading a little bit. It's difficult to keep committed to them. Maybe change your strategy. Look at what actually you can achieve and adapt and be flexible. It's when you're a great gift, so use it. So with that little potted history of my running and a way to get you to increase your motivation and find the right strategy, I hope you get some value from that. If you have liked this, please drop me a comment, give it a like and a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover in the future, please let me know, drop me a comment or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. would love to hear from you. But other than that, I hope you're doing fantastically well wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next episode. This is how legends are made.